Back in 2004, the U.S. Pentagon floated a shocking idea. If war were to break out, Taiwan could strike a devastating blow by targeting one of China's most iconic landmarks, the Three Gorges Dam. Taiwan, however, quickly shut down the suggestion. But in 2018, a Taiwanese military expert, Su Chi Hun, reignited the conversation with an even bolder claim. He argued that just two medium-range ballistic missiles could send the Three Gorges Dam crashing down, plunging 400 to 600 million people into catastrophe. And it doesn't stop there. Former vice chairman of CC Media, Yang Leng, went a step further. In his book, Yangtze River, O Yangtze River, he warned that not only would millions of lives be at stake, but the entire reserve forces of the Chinese military stationed downstream could be wiped out in the blink of an eye. Sometimes the biggest disasters come in the shape of incredible wonders. So here's the burning question. Is the Three Gorges Dam China's Achilles heel? What would happen if this towering giant became the very trigger for a national crisis? Stay tuned as we dive deep into this explosive possibility and explore the monumental consequences of a Three Gorges Dam collapse. You don't want to miss this. Before we dive in, a quick favor. Your likes help counter negative comments or bot attacks and ensure this video reaches more people. If you find value in the content, hit that like button. It really makes a difference. Three Gorges Dam and Mind-Blowing Facts What's truly surprising is that this colossal structure came with a price tag of about $31 billion, a significant chunk of which was spent not just on the dam, but also on relocating an astounding 1.4 million people. Imagine that. Three entire cities, along with countless towns and villages, submerged beneath the water to make way for this giant. It required 40,000 workers and 17 years to complete. The dam itself is a straight-crested concrete gravity structure stretching an unbelievable 2,335 meters, 7,660 feet in length and standing a towering 185 meters, 607 feet high. To put that into perspective, it took 28 million cubic meters of concrete and 463,000 metric tons of steel to bring this massive structure to life, which is enough to construct 63 Eiffel Towers. And why the Yangtze River? Well, it was chosen because its solid granite river valley makes it the perfect location to hold back such a vast body of water. Each year, a staggering 500 billion cubic meters of water flows through the river. But the dam isn't just about size. It's a power machine. They installed 32 massive generators, each weighing 6,000 tons. These generators, once fully activated, help the dam reach its full capacity, each churning out 700 megawatts. Add two smaller turbines, and you've got enough energy to power vast stretches of infrastructure. In fact, in 2020, the dam set a world record by generating 11.8 billion kilowatt hours in a single year. This was a game changer for China helping the country pivot from coal-fired plants to clean hydropower, avoiding the use of 31.7 million tons of coal. Three Gorges Dam also features a five-tier ship lock system, allowing vessels of up to 10,000 tons to safely navigate the river. Additionally, it includes the world's largest ship lift, completed in 2015, which can accommodate ships up to 3,000 tons. Some experts, including NASA scientists, claim that the Three Gorges Dam may actually be slowing the Earth's rotation. When the dam reaches its maximum capacity, its reservoir can hold an astonishing 42 billion tons of water. This massive shift in mass has an impact on the planet itself, increasing Earth's moment of inertia and, as a result, slowing its rotation. So what would happen if the Earth's rotation actually slowed down? According to physics, days and nights would gradually stretch longer as a full rotation starts taking more than 24 hours. With less centrifugal force pushing against us, our body weight would actually increase. I don't know what else to call it if it isn't a disaster. The Three Gorges Dam, a political power play between Jiang Zemin and Li Peng. The Three Gorges Dam might be the world's largest hydroelectric project, but behind the impressive stats, it's hiding a ticking time bomb of crises. According to The Times, Wang Xiaofeng, a Chinese official, recently admitted what many had suspected all along. The land around the reservoir has always been fragile. Erosion is rampant, the population is dense, and the ecosystem is hanging by a thread. In his 2003 book, The Three Gorges Diary, 
Former Premier Li Peng revealed that after Jiang Zemin became General Secretary of the Communist Party, his first inspection in Beijing was at the Three Gorges site. From 1989 onward, all major decisions about the project were driven by Jiang, despite heavy opposition. Yet, on February 4, 1994, the dam's construction began, not because of scientific merit, but due to political maneuvering. Many critics, like renowned water conservancy expert Wang Wanli, fought against the project, warning of 12 catastrophic consequences, ranging from ecological collapse to the dam's potential for failure. But his petitions were ignored, and he was sidelined. Dr. Wang Weiluo, a dam expert, openly project a political deal between Zhang and Li Peng. Without Zhang's push, this project wouldn't have moved forward. Li Peng was just following orders, he said. Before the National People's Congress could cast their vote, the Politburo was in full panic mode. Why? They feared that too many representatives would shoot down the project. So what did Zhang do? He convened a special party meeting, laid down the law, and imposed strict party discipline. The message was clear. If you're a Communist Party member, your vote better be in favor of the dam. Surprise, the final vote count perfectly matched the proportion of party members in Congress. It wasn't a democratic decision. It was a political directive. But that wasn't enough. The Chinese Communist Party, CCP, ramped up its propaganda machine, selling the dam as the ultimate flood control solution. They waved around historical data, showing how the Yangtze River had unleashed devastating floods in the past. The promise? The Three Gorges Dam would tame those waters, preventing future disasters. They even invoked Mao Zedong's grand vision, claiming the dam would be the answer to downstream flooding. What's more, the CCP hyped up the dam's supposed flood control capabilities, painting it as a century's dream for China. But experts like Wang argue the real benefit is electricity generation, and even that came at an enormous cost. The Three Gorges Dam isn't the flood-preventing miracle it's claimed to be. In fact, it could cause more harm than good, especially upstream, because its storage capacity is too limited and it takes too long to manage the floodwaters effectively. Wang summed it up perfectly. The CCP doesn't respect nature. They think they can conquer it with technology, but that's impossible. Humans need to adapt to nature, not fight against it. The Three Gorges Dam, China's Achilles Heel. The Three Gorges Dam, once hailed as a symbol of China's engineering brilliance, is now seen by many as its greatest vulnerability. Some analysts even call it a ticking time bomb set by Jiang Zemin, ready to go off with disastrous consequences for millions when it does. From the start, the dam's construction was riddled with corruption, but it wasn't just dirty politics causing problems. Nature itself began pushing back. Earthquakes, droughts, extreme heat waves, and floods wreaked havoc across the Yangtze River Basin. Poyang Lake, China's largest freshwater lake, nearly dried up. And that was just the beginning of the chaos. Dr. Wang Weiluo, a vocal critic of the dam, didn't hold back. Wang Wanli always said this dam is a powder keg that CCP made. It could blow at any moment. The dam is under immense pressure, and the terrifying reality is that it could one day reach its breaking point, triggering a catastrophic collapse. Back in 1991, Chinese physicist Qian Weicheng warned that if the dam failed, six provinces downstream would be flooded, plunging hundreds of millions into disaster. To make matters worse, the dam's massive size and strategic importance make it a prime target in any future conflict. And with today's missile technology, defending it is nearly impossible. Water conservancy expert Zhang Junfeng didn't mince words either. Concentrating this much water in such a fragile area is a disaster waiting to happen. It could trigger a chain reaction that impacts the entire ecosystem. The original goals of the Three Gorges project were ambitious. Flood control, electricity generation, transportation, water diversion, and regional development. But after all the hype, only one goal has been partially met, electricity. Even then, the dam only produces around 3% of China's total power, hardly justifying the enormous risks involved. Environmental activist Dai Ching put it bluntly, For over 20 years, this dam has proven nearly useless for flood control. In fact, it's done more to disrupt river transport than help it. Meanwhile, corrupt officials have gotten rich off relocation funds, while almost 2 million displaced people are left with nothing. Before the dam even started filling in 2003, 
over 80 cracks were found in its structure, raising serious concerns. By 2004, dikes along the Yangtze were cracking, and in 2006, a major breach near Yueyang set off alarm bells in China's Ministry of Defense. And let's not forget the increased frequency of earthquakes in the region. Experts say it's only a matter of time before a significant quake strikes. Since 2020, southern China has endured scorching heat waves, with temperatures topping 40 degrees Celsius in over 40 cities. Fenghua in Zhejiang even hit 43 degrees Celsius for an entire week, and many believe the Three Gorges Dam and its massive water diversion project are contributing to these extremes. Recognizing the strategic risk, Premier Li Keqiang signed a decree in 2015 to protect the dam with multiple layers of defense. Since 2013, China has deployed naval, air, and land forces to guard the dam with a full regiment, including anti-air missiles, helicopters, and patrol ships stationed there. Chinese media personality Luo Changping summed it up perfectly. These intense security measures highlight just how much of a national security risk the Three Gorges Dam really is. What if the Three Gorges Dam collapsed? Back in July 2019, a shocking image showing the dam visibly deformed caused a media frenzy both inside and outside of China. Chinese economist Lang Shanping took to Twitter, sharing two comparison photos, one with the dam perfectly straight, the other showing it ominously warped. His chilling comment? If this dam breaks, half of China will be plunged into chaos, and even the country's elites won't escape. Hydrology expert Dr. Wang Weiluo then dropped a bombshell in the Epoch Times, revealing a little-known fact. The dam was designed with the expectation that it might shift over time. But here's the catch. This isn't some minor adjustment. Wang explained that the dam is built from dozens of independent concrete blocks, not a single solid structure as most believe. Each block relies on gravity to stay stable on the bedrock. And with the constant pressure from the reservoir and changing temperatures, these blocks shift differently. Yes, you heard that right. The dam is slowly moving. It gets worse. When originally designed, the dam was expected to shift forward by just a few millimeters each year. But in reality, the movement is uneven. It's not following a neat, straight path. Instead, this inconsistency creates cracks at the joints, increasing the risk of structural failure. And if this gigantic structure starts cracking, we're looking at nothing short of a catastrophe. Dr. Wang didn't mince words. Claims that the Three Gorges Dam could last 500 or 1,000 years are pure fantasy. In fact, concrete dams in China typically last around 50 years, a far cry from the government's propaganda. Once the dam reaches its breaking point, it could collapse, sending devastating floods across six downstream provinces, affecting 400 to 600 million people. Wang warns that if the dam bursts, we're not just talking about water, we're talking about two, three billion cubic meters of sediment. It's not the flood that'll do the most damage, it's the sediment. Once it's unleashed, the entire ecosystem will be devastated and the Yangtze River itself could be blocked. No one will know where the water will flow and the middle and lower reaches of the river, all the way to Shanghai, will be staring down a nightmare scenario. In 2020, Taiwan News shared a controversial video simulation from Chinese financial outlet Kaijing Lengyan, illustrating what might happen if the dam collapsed. Spoiler alert, it's terrifying. The video shows the dam's collapse under massive water pressure, unleashing a 100-meter high wall of water with unstoppable force. With steep mountains on both sides of the Yangtze, there's no escape for the water. It barrels forward, destroying everything in its path. Within 30 minutes, the nearby Kishuba Dam would also collapse, and the city of Yicham, just 50 kilometers downstream, would be completely wiped off the map. 700 million people would disappear. Then one-third of China's landmass, including its most prosperous regions, Wuhan, Shanghai, Nanjing, would be underwater. Entire cities, historical landmarks, and cultural treasures that China once proudly displayed to the world? Gone. The flood wouldn't just stop at the cities. Rural areas, too, would be submerged under 5 to 10 meters of water. What about the economy? This region is home to countless industrial hubs, manufacturing plants, and critical transportation routes. If the dam collapsed, China would face an industrial blackout. The country would be left with a massive power shortage, 
bringing entire sectors of production, transportation, and daily life to a standstill. The economic fallout? Devastating, potentially triggering a nationwide crisis. And that's not even the end of it. The aftermath would be even darker. Epidemics, environmental collapse, massive unemployment, and a country in turmoil. The dam's collapse wouldn't just be a flood, it would be the beginning of a national nightmare. The Three Gorges Dam may have once been the shining symbol of China's engineering prowess, but it's also a double-edged sword. It's not just a source of national pride, it's a national ticking time bomb. What are your thoughts on the potential risks and rewards of such a massive project? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.